welcome back to F123 Breaking Point. This is episode three and everything is kicking off. In the last episode, the legend that is Casper Ackerman came back to the game and he joined Connor Sport as its team principal. And today we're picking up where we left off. We are heading to the Bahrain Grand Prix. Clearly we've arrived in Devin Butler's locker room. Devon, just remember, we've uh, got a lot on the line this season. Trust me, Dad, you, you, you've you got nothing to worry about. You don't bring your A game, it's back to the bottom of the pile. What great words of encouragement from Daddy Butler. Okay, Devon, it's a brand new season, you know that, so let's start it as we mean to go on, okay? They want me to drive as Devon Butler. Ah, you win some, you lose some. Our primary objective is to finish in the top five. And with this car, I don't think that's very possible. Our bonus objective is to get in the top three and get the fastest lap. And away we go for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Not a bad start, not a bad start. Zero wheel spin off the line. Cop here, Gasly napping immediately. Very nice, get on the brake, nice and... Not early enough. Sorry, 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 sorry. Shocking line. Anyways, we made up one position on the opening corner. Very nice. Not a bad start. As per always for our F1 videos, though, we're using this, our Thrustmaster direct drive wheelbase, the brand new T818. And our racing wheel is the Thrustmaster SF1000 Formula Ferrari wheel. Anyways, up in front of us, we've got Aiden Jackson, our teammate. Now, as much as I don't want to go for an overtake pass, him. I think we might have to. Yep, and that's my opportunity right there. Man just left the door open by about two miles. You don't need a second invitation. Maybe this car is not as bad as I thought. Also taking a look up Esteban Ocon. I like to call that the Max Verstappen move where you cut the guy off up the inside. Then you have a fight with him in the garage afterwards. It's it's very fun, actually. We've also got DRS and Lando goes to block the inside. I thought I was about to go up the inside, but then that outside just opened up beautifully. As much as I hate to say it, let's go Devin Butler. That, that physically pained me saying that. Keep going, stay on that slipstream behind Carlos, then send it up the inside, force your way up there. Not my best corner I've ever done, but I'll take it. I'll take it. It is what it is. Open up that DRS and I hope we can run. What is going on? <laughs> Don't look at that. Nothing to see. All right, we're already getting into our pit window. It's a bit early, no? Hey, Fernando, I've decided I've had enough charging up my battery now. Could you let me overtake? Okay, I think this might be my opportunity to get Fernando here. Look up the inside, now wait. And then this is when we're gonna do it. Use that battery and use that rear wing and reel them in, baby. Reel them in. Why do you want me to stop on this lap? Bro, that seems so dumb. That seems way, way, way too early. I wanna make these medium compound tires last. Hold on a second. I should actually be able to see my tire wear. My tire wear's fine. I've used 20% of my tires. No chance of my coming in. All right, Perez has a problem. I'll take that. Thank you. All right, we're looking pretty good, honestly. We're right behind Lewis. Correction. We might be alongside Lewis. Correction. We might be in front of Lewis with a little bit of battery. I told you my medium compound tires are good. Now Max Verstappen is three seconds up the road. Boys, not gonna lie. We actually might win this race considering how insane our strategy is. Lewis is staying out again. I can't believe I'm leading this race. Unfortunately, if I do win this race, we're never gonna hear the end of it from Devin Butler. All right, I think I'm gonna do like one or two more laps and then we're gonna jump into the pit and have a blast on the saw. All right, boys, so we're up to lap 10 in this Grand Prix now. And I think it's time to make our pit stop. All right, and stomp on the brakes. What's that button? What's that button? I don't know what that button was. I fully was speeding in the pit lane. It's the soft compound tires going on. And here we go. I did. I got a five second penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we got to run. I have three laps to make a five second gap behind. All right, we're looking good. We're looking good. 5.8 seconds to Perez, who is in fifth place. We have secured P5 and make that P3 and even P1 now. The guys behind have been fighting so much. Bring this home. End this race right now. 
We have no battery left. I just can't understand why we're qualifying in like P16 when the car is able to do that. Imagine that. We literally just went out there, won the first race of the season, and it's Connor Sport P1, baby. How are we looking after that brilliant result? I know we've had our run ins and. What do you say? Oh, Jackson, yeah. Cheers, mate. Bin's over there. Yeah. Wow! We're jumping over to chapter eight and the Australian Grand Prix. Hello, Devin Butler. Hopefully you don't have a skill issue. Into the corner we go. That's a little too late. And he nearly goes off the track on the exit. Okay, Devin, we're gonna have to ease off from the brakes. Brakes don't feel right. Gonna see a drop off in performance, I'm afraid. What? Why? What happened to Devin Butler? Primary objective, hold on to as many positions as you can. Oh dear. I guess our car is going to be a little sketchy to drive. We are in P10. There are five laps to go. It almost feels like it just has zero downforce at the moment. Jeez, it just doesn't turn. Okay, we gotta hold our line. Don't go into the dirt. Thank you very much. Jeez, we're fine. No! No! What a bottle! I touched the grass and the whole rear of the car comes swinging around. I'm surprised I was even able to hold that. That was impressive. Hey, there's four laps to go. This thing is just shocking. Absolutely shocking. There goes, uh, that was Pierre Gasly. I completely cannot gain on these guys whatsoever, even with some extra battery and slipstreaming. Speaking of people who have problems, Nico Hulkenberg, sorry, Hulkenberg, has a bit of a problem with his car, apparently. We get DRS. I'm just gonna try and stick with these guys if I can. Oh my God, this car. What is wrong with this car? What have they done to it? It feels just awful to drive. It's almost like it's just a combination of being one down on power and two absolutely no downforce oh my god you're gone again gone again no this car i think is a liability out here thank you oh. this car feels slower and slower every single lap what the hell is going on up here it looked like they were going four wide at one point the ai is mental around here. Yo, we're actually gaining because everyone's fighting. Oh, this is such good news. Let me get a point. If I could get a point with a broken car, that would be incredible. We're one second behind now. Come on. We get DRS. Are you kidding me? They are wheel to wheel. Max Verstappen wins the race. Lance doesn't have DRS. Oh, I'm a little too far. If it wasn't for that grass touch, I think I might have been able to get him. Unless I can get him here. No, I've been way too slow through here the entire time. No, definitely Definitely not. Jeez. Oh, what a slidey boy. Boy, bring it home. P11? It's not bad. We had a broken car. All right. I think Devin Butler's about to have a meltdown though. Oh no, you're back again. Devin is blaming the comms just like he did in Hungary. The press are asking us to comment. No comment on that one. That's a team answer. Next chapter. Several weeks later in Imola. You wanted to see me? Tell me what's happening. I told you, check the comms. Yeah, the comms are fine, Devin. What's going on? I heard the order. Why ignore it? I'm feeling it, Cass. Pressure. Paddock gossip. You're Devin Butler. You are the paddock gossip. <laughs> He's not wrong. In the meantime, I'd like you to see someone from the medical team. Just to be sure. I've booked you in for this afternoon. All right, well, let's go off to the race. I'm just saying, as long as our car isn't broken, that's probably a good start. There are seven laps remaining and apparently our car is having some issues. Primary objective is to just finish the race. I don't even need to get a good result. That is a little worrying. I'm not gonna lie. If the game's not gonna give me an objective, I will simply make my own. Imola's one of those special tracks though. I actually got my first ever iRacing win out at Imola and ever since then I felt pretty confident around here. Let's see if we can put that confidence to good work because everyone's going very slow through the chicane and see if we can make a couple of positions up. It is getting very dark right now. I don't know if it's actually raining or just starting... Okay, what are you dying? I don't actually know if it's raining or if it's just super, super dark. Logan, Sergeant, what are you doing? Ah! Why? You literally just made us lose a second and a half to that man up there. Oscar Piastri just set the fastest lap of the race. Oh, here we go with a run up the hill. We get Oscar and we get Nico. All right, we keep going. We've got Kevin Magnussen and Valtteri Bottas in front. Hello, Valtteri Bottas. 
And... That was not a legal overtake. Oh, Kevin, I know it's a Haas, but why is it going so slow? Why did he get on the brake so early? Okay, I think the AI might be a little sus on this track. On the bright side, it's nice to know when the car is working, it's actually very, very quick. Just wasn't expecting it to be this quick, you know? Oh, I was trying to finish the race. What's the problem? What is up with Butler? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. Devin Butler spins. He's out. What a massive crash. We want to see him out of the car, though. That's good news. Big relief there. Although he does still look a bit unsteady on the... I'm done, Casper. I'm done. It was his hearing. I think maybe he'd been trying to keep it from himself. I mean, he was devastated. Five years in F1, most people never even get the chance. And I was still one of the best. You ask anyone. <laughs> why do you, why do you have to smile like that, bro? So Devin Butler has literally quit F1. I don't even know what to say in a situation like this. Other than subscribe if you want to see the next episode. I'll see you then. Bye.